New tension in Ferguson tonight. Police hunt for a shooter and brace for more violence. Two officers shot at the end of a protest at the Ferguson police station. Those shots were fired around midnight. One officer shot through the shoulder, the other shot in the cheek. The bullet still lodged behind his ear. Neither of those officers were from Ferguson. Both have been released from the hospital. The shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown by Ferguson police officer last summer sparked weeks of protests. And many fear more violence is brewing tonight after the shootings. Early this morning, KMBC 9's Eli Rosenberg is live in Ferguson with what's going on right now, Eli. Well, guys, we have what I would best describe our first minor skirmish just a few minutes ago outside of police headquarters right here. Let's walk for a minute, I'll tell you. Police came out, and I was actually surprised because I would expect them after all the events of early this morning to be in full SWAT gear, but they came out in their regular shirt, talked to the crowd, tried to get them off the street, and were unable to. But one thing I've noticed so far tonight, let's show you some of those deputies that are outside here. At 6 o'clock tonight, these deputies with St. Louis County and the Missouri Highway Patrol took over security outside of Ferguson Police Department. They've been trying to get these protesters out of the street. This is a scene we saw in August and again in November of these groups of protesters shutting down the street in front of Ferguson Police Headquarters. A minute ago, they did let a city bus go by. We've been here most of the afternoon and evening and talking to protesters and talking to community leaders, there was a real worry that what happened early this morning, those two officers that were shot could really mar all the work they've been working towards since Mike Brown was shot in August. We also had a chance to talk to Benjamin Crump, lawyer for Michael Brown's family, and I asked him about the family and their reaction to this morning's shooting. It's not what happened, obviously, early this morning. Any reaction? Well, they uh, expressed their sympathy to the police officers and their families, and uh, they condemned this heinous act of violence completely. This is not what any of us wanted. Back here live in Ferguson, you can see it's almost a festive atmosphere, a far cry from that video we saw from those am that amateur video of people ducking for cover early this morning after those shots were fired outside the police headquarters. It is peaceful and festive now, but as we saw last night, that can all change really quick. Eli, how has Ferguson changed um, all over the city from when you were there in November? Well, this scene is a similar one that we saw in November and August. And one of the most jarring things that we saw when we rolled into town, we showed you in November as that grand jury decision came in, we showed you those buildings burning live at the 10 o'clock news, and those buildings pretty much untouched as we rolled through town. It was really eerie to see the built-out burnings standing much as they were when we left in November. It looks like very little work has been done to get those buildings buildings torn down. It's really another painful reminder of all this city has gone through as the protests here continue. We're live in Ferguson. Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News. Well, Missouri Congressman Emanuel Cleaver and William Lacey Clare offering a $3,000 reward for information leading to an arrest in the ambush shooting of the police officers. Congressman Cleaver says tonight what happened in Ferguson last night was a terrible tragedy and we cannot stand idly by as others transgress. Many across the country are condemned Condemning the new violence in Ferguson, the parents of Michael Brown called the shooting senseless. President Barack Obama also denounced the violence, saying his thoughts and prayers are with the officers and strong words from Attorney General Eric Holder. This was this was a damn punk, punk, who was uh, trying to sow discord in an area that is trying to uh, get its act together and trying to bring together a community that has been fractured for too long. Now here's another live look from Ferguson and Eli told us that uh, police officers were out trying to clear the street but the protesters aren't moving but peaceful so far. So we're going to continue to monitor the situation and bring you live updates on the protests or the manhunt. New